Now, the next part of the question says, using the result from 1A and B on page 12, that's the previous result, show that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. All right? I had put the previous answer up here to make space. So this is is not referred to as sine theta squared. It's really sine squared theta. Now, we had sine, in working this out, we had sine theta squared, sine squared theta. Well, we had sine theta and cos theta. So remember what they were. It was a case where we had sine theta A over B. Uh, let me rewrite that. Make some space between the sine theta. Sine theta is A over B. Theta is this. Opposite over hypotenuse. Or A over C, I mean. A over C cos theta is adjacent B over hypotenuse C B over C alright now you need to show that when we square this and square this and add them you get 1 so let's see what happens sine squared theta is a over c r squared plus cos squared theta is b over c r squared now that turns out to be a squared over c squared because if you separate them a over c r squared is the same as a squared over c squared plus b over c is r squared the same as b squared over c squared All right now in this case you have a squared I continue down here a squared plus b squared over c squared now let's look at the answer to part a part a said a squared plus b squared is c squared c squared is a squared plus b squared so basically it is saying that all of this up here right is c squared you can see it from this a squared plus b squared is c squared so this becomes c squared over c squared but what is c squared over c squared it has to be one number divided by itself is one so therefore what this is showing is that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1 shown alright